Hey everybody, this is Drew Bell here. Welcome back to another episode of Monkey Island 3. So apparently uh, Murray is a big hit with uh, with the fans. I didn't realize. I thought he was just a one-time little... little trick. Oh, is she not going to come back? Well, alright. I'm still trying to learn which islands are which. Something oh, about Blood Island. Blood Island, something else island. It's just a toy. I don't know which island this is, but uh, I'll, f I'll figure it out. Let's see if we can get some scissors mm. here. And I run with them. Dull little scissors. Nah. Uh, gumball machine. Admiral Sweetum's bit o jerky bubblegum. Five cents. I have to get the gum out of the machine first. Oh, um, I don't have any money. I know, Vandal. I'm a pirate. I have a bag of niggles. Hold on. Uh, let's try that. I mean, they're wooden niggles, but why not? Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Awesome. Bit o jerky bubble gum. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Why does it taste like sirloin? Oh, beef jerky gu bubble gum? That sounds awful. I'm gonna take this. And... Scissors? I don't want those dull little scissors. Right. I already tried. I don't need it. So... It's just a toy. I don't need it. Yeah. It's just a toy. I'm really excited about uh, tomorrow. Although it'll probably be today by the time this is uploaded and processed and all that crap. Um, the exp well, What is this? Oh, that's just the way out. I kind of wanted to talk... Tomatomushka, I wasn't done with her. Oh, right, I remember. You're supposed to do this. It just looks very strange. Very questionable, if you will. Just a minute. Uh, what island is this? What is this, anyway? You have landed on Plunder Island. Okay, I didn't know that. Plunder Island. Sounds appropriately piratey. Naturally. It's a sort of retirement community for ex-pirates and their spouses. Hmm, sounds exciting. So, Florida. Lately, there has been all too much excitement on the island. All centering around Governor Marley, the Chuck, and a giant chicken. Well, I've seen some chickens. What about this giant chicken business? Ah, yes, Skybrush. You have landed on an island gripped with chicken pox by the cold, clammy hand of fear. Oh. Don't you think you're being a bit overdramatic? This was a peaceful island until the great beast landed on our shores. Some say it was sent to make the islanders pay for their cruelty. Others claim it was simply blind fate. Whatever the impetus, it came. A giant chicken? A giant chicken? It was El Pollo Diablo. <laughs> the giant demon chicken. Tall as a man, and twice as powerful. His massive drumsticks propel him through the dark jungle with ease. No one has seen the beast, but on the eve of the full moon, his blood-curdling squawk can be heard from every corner of this wretched island. In the dark of night, he Why is this a thing? patiently watching, waiting for the one day. No, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Let me guess. <laughs> New pecking order. He's establishing a new pecking order. He roams the island, exacting terrible vengeance on those who would capture and eat his smaller brethren. Oh, give me a break. There were once others like you, skeptical to the true nature of the beast. But they're all dead now, pecked into a bloody pulp by his savage beak. But I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, right, whatever. I probably wouldn't be making voodoo dolls of birds if that's the case. Yeah, don't f far be it for me to make voodoo birds of voodoo dolls of birds in a 
haunted chicken island. Elaine is governor of this island too? Actually, Elaine is the governor of the entire tri-island area comprised of Melee, Booty, and Plunder Islands. She moved to her fort here on Plunder after the kitchen and landscaping staff quit her Booty Island mansion. Wow. Well, she seems pretty well to do. Well, how did you end up on Plunder Island? I realized that my location in the swamp on Scab Island wasn't ideally situated. So you moved to a swamp on a different island. Yeah, I was about to I just say the same I thing. See the future. I never claimed to be an expert in real estate. Thanks. I've heard all I needed to know. I mean, I learned from Monty Python that building real estate on a on a marsh just uh, doesn't work very well. Tell me again how to lift this curse. You need to replace the cursed ring with the pure one on Blood Island. Right. And to get to Blood Island, you need a map, a ship, and a crew. Okay, well, let's get on that. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Was there anything else I should actually look at? I want to know what voodoo... Well, okay. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. Yeah, I think they just, for this one, I think they just said, like, some pirates and going to Blood Island, but let me check on that. Who did you say kidnapped Elaine? I suspect it was the work of the pirates anchored right, in Danger, Danger Cove. Cove. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about them. I mean, I'm sorry I'm still doing expository stuff, but I still want to make sure I know who is, who is what and going who are on. these pirates? No one knows, but people speak of strange, almost inhuman screams coming from their ship late into the night. Creepy. And their captain is a cruel, savage beast, the fiercest pirate ever to sail the Caribbean. Where's Danger Cove? It is on the west side of the island. The way is extremely treacherous. Few men have seen Danger Cove and lived. Figures. Well, they're gonna regret messing with my girlfriend. Danger Cove, huh? You might want to stay indoors. This could get messy. Yes, and she uh, ever stands up. Okay, so Thanks I think I've help. got Gotta the go. situation. I'm on Plunder Island. And there's a danger cove somewhere on the west of this island where there's a some ghost pirates who have my girlfriend. And something about Blood Island, which was not really mentioned, was it? So I don't Oh right, that's where the the cur the the curse lifting ring is. Okay, so now I think I know where everything is. Okay. Expository stuff done. Let's check this fort first. Maybe Elaine will be there. Maybe the game is shorter than I thought. And she's just there. And we're done. Feral chicken. Okay, so I guess the chickens are going to be a big thing in this game, huh? Do you know any rousing pirate stories? That story sucks. And... I, I, I realized in the... Uh, when I was looking at my recording later, this is the, uh, the, the fort from the first part, but... Nah. Probably can't get there. You look... odd. It looks dangerous. Nah. I might get the chicken pops. Wait, n now playing... Spe... Spe... Oh, Spear. Okay. The Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts presents Spear. Okay, in Puerto Polo. I think Polo is uh, chicken in Spanish. I don't know. I don't know Spanish. Okay. Well, let us explore this. Okay, that's town. Ooh, a lemonade shop. Don't mind if I do. I'll use my wooden nickels. How inspiring. 
a budding young entrepreneur. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy. My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell. Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. That's a pretty good deal, actually. Mr. He had a pun name, and I've already forgotten it. Foul mouth or something. I'd like some lemonade. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. I got it. Oh, you... Uh, you tricked me. Hey, there's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I see what you did I'm there. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy. And there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. What a scam business. Uh, what do I have here? I have chewed gum. Okay. When did I get this paste? Oh yeah, it was sitting in the shop. Or the... that hungry. <laughs> it's a bottle of paste. I need something to put the paste on. Yeah, I have a feeling... Hold on, can I combine this with this? I can't paste that. Oh, I thought that, like, if I paste this to this, I'd be able to make a bottom for the... for that little hole there. Mmm... Well, let's keep exploring. Now that we know that disclaimer. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. What? This isn't grog, it's just lemonade. Or at least that's what they say. Oh, they're talking about this. I think that's a carcinogen. That would stain my fingers red. And get myself caught red-handed? It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. I don't think I need that. Now, what exactly Bit is this? Bit jerky bubblegum. Okay, bubblegum. Okay. Uh, nice little town. Wait, I saw, like, mysterious... Mysterious flowers. What a strange flower. Wow. This jungle is thick. I'll need something sharp if I'm gonna hack my way through there. Oh, I wish I had my cutlass back. It's rooted in with the vine. I can't just pick it up. Nah. Okay. I'll probably be able to cut through there at some point. Beware. Nah. Mm, no. Hmm. Nah. Nah. Okay. It is a nice little town. It's even got a little Venice... Well, okay. Actually, there's nothing at all like Venice. I was just saying what I was thinking. Oh, there you are. Okay. I don't want to do that yet. I want to see if I can do something with this chicken coop. It's a chicken coop, but I don't see any chickens. Nah. Mm, no. Because the chickens have flown the coop. Mud puddle. It's as thick as gravy. I'd really prefer not to. I won't be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hand. What would I do with a mud puddle? I don't want to cinch that with this ember. Hmm, I don't know. What would I use with a mud puddle? I mean, is this just supposed to be a sign that there's supposed to be water in here? Or something? What does that say? Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. I already did that. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. I guess I did things out of order. Mm, oh. It's got that brand new paper taste. <laughs> Who eats paper? Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Mmm. Got that brand new paper taste. Feeling down because your chicks okay. turned to gold? Come to the swamp. Sorry, there's, uh, gold. there's three, there's three uh, interaction Formally options, and I was just trying to location on Plunder Island. check them all. And that one did the same thing. Have I been in... 
Oh, hey there. Do you have a reservation? Mm, yeah. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservations. Slip. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go. Man. It's part of the complex drainage system for Blondebeard's chicken shop. Nah, there's nothing inside. Well, I guess the only way to go is back this way. Man, Guybrush is always so slow. Especially in the... Well, pretty much all the games. I always felt that in the second game, the second edition, he kind of had a... Come on, go through the door. He kind of had like a... A little stagger... Like a little, uh... I don't know, the way he was walking was really confident and swaggery and it was kind of fun, but... Here he's just traipsing around. But I don't know, it was still a new... Still new graphics for this sort of genre. I mean, I imagine back in the day this was pretty awesome. Let's see, this is 1997? I think King's Quest VI... I forget what, what Sierra game this would be, like, the same year of... Okay, log pile. Curious pile of logs there. Those are too big to be toothpicks. <laughs> what is this, like the Loogie, ga uh, Loogie race, except with logs? I don't want to be in the grassy knoll. I've heard bad things about the grassy knoll. It's a wooden sawhorse supporting that keg of rum. Nah, it's too heavy for me to move. Okay, so there's a keg of rum. They look like they're made out of palm tree trunks. Those are too big to be <laughs> shot. Wait, that's not it, is it? What's this? It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Caribbean rubber tree. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. Oh, okay. I guess this is eventually going to get me my ship. Nah. Mm, no. Or at least it's, you know, part of the puzzle to get my ship for the future. I, I would imagine. There are other ants crawling all over it. Nah, I could never hope to move that. Sumatran rubber tree. Donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire western hemisphere, and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities. Okay. There's gotta be more to this town. Unless there's another place? Like, there's gotta be more. Oops. Oops. I don't know what you guys just saw, but I think it was probably just a... Uh... Oh, great, just a minute. <laughs> well, at least I know how far my video is in, but I think it just said that I was 18 minutes in. Wait, mysterious door. Ooh, that was embarrassing. Mysterious? Nah. Well, that was pointless. Let's continue. The problem is I don't know which way I came in. I wonder what these numbers are for. Well, I imagine there's going to be another contest here. Mr. Guybrush. Oh, can I just... Good evening. At the tone, Caribbean standard time will be... 8.40... Five and thirty six seconds. Beep. Beep. Nah. I don't think that would fit in my pants. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some King's Quest. Well, I've seen some Sierra characters pick, pick up some pretty big things in their pants lately. Still can't get over that, uh. 
that king, the white king from uh, TSL episode four. Okay, seriously, how do I, how did I get in? I forget how I got in. I think this is it. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's more here. There's a fountain. Maybe if I throw a nickel in there, I can get something. Nah. Nah. Mm, no. Okay. Let's throw a nickel in there. Oops. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Oh, fine. Spoil sport. Alright. Ooh, the front door. To this place. I have no idea what this place is. In memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. Okay, I sort of wanted to go in here. It's locked. Oh, isn't it always? I don't want to disturb anyone in there. Well, alright. Oh, hey, what's this? Blood Island sticker. Hey! It's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. A message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. I guess that's a good lead. Licking it won't get it off. No. Oh. <laughs> it's stuck to the trunk. It's an old travel trunk. It's covered with stickers from many faraway places. It's a fake sword. Nah. I don't need a prop. I'm... Oh, this is like a magic place. It's empty. Okay. Or is it? Nah. I don't want to disturb the mystic powers of the hat. I don't have any magical items. No. I wonder if there's a part in this play for... A dashing rogue pirate. Hi. Mm, no. There's some fake spears. Nah. To recreate the spear and magic helmet scene? I don't know. Fake spears, uh... Fake crown? Hmm. Nah. I don't need a prop. Just kind of seeing what I can do in here. It's got a lot of items, so I think I can take something. It's very mod. Nah. No, I like the natural look. Oh, there's another room. To swab or not to swab? Oh, I thought there was no, more to that. No, oh, that's there we go. Not right. Come on, Slappy. You've got to get this right. The show opens today. Then I kill Caesar. Follow that up with a little soft shoe. Okay, you're boring me. Let's talk. I do. It's an actor. Well, I know who it is. Thespian. A pirate by any other name would still reek. Ah. Ahoy! Ahoy! I'm a dangerous pirate. Um. Yeah. I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell? Cromwell. Oh. It's not my real name, actually. My agent told me my given name just didn't have star quality. What was your given name? Rex Fortune, Adventure Seeker. I like that name. I see. Can I join your show? Let me be blunt. You just don't have the hands of a spear carrier. You have no idea how often I hear that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Dirty. Have you been to Blood Island? But of course. Blood Island was once the place to be if you were an artist in the Caribbean. Those were the days. We were young and wild, pushing the limits of our craft. Oh, what risky, daring performances we gave. We weren't afraid to shock or offend the stodgy, mainstream sensibilities of our audiences. Oh, what did you perform? Dinner theater, mostly. 
Could you tell me how I can find Blood Island? My agent, Palado Domingo, always handled the travel arrangements. He would know how to get there. Any idea where I could find him? He's a member of the Brimstone Beach Club here on Plunder Island. You might catch him there. What's that putrid, stench-ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? But this... this is the master work of the Bard. Do you really think it's that bad? Do pirates drink grog? Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. I just feel like making him feel bad oh, for a little could bit. Could have taken up my rigid pen and stabbed it bodkin-like through the unsullied poetry of the master? Hey, wait, weren't those guys, you uh... wrote Shakespeare? I was compelled to. Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. Oh, these stupid, brutish pirates! Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. So, I rewrote the whole folio, contracted the brilliance of decades into a 45-minute review. Spear! A theatrical medley. You know, I remember that those guys, um, those guys on Scab Island, uh, the ones who gave me the leaflet in the first game were talking about acting. I wonder if this is the same sort of I wonder if this is this acting party. I don't know. Who did you say knew about Blood Island? My agent. Okay, so I need to find his agent. Most likely, he's at the Brimstone Beach Club. Brimstone Beach Club. Okay. Please, can I join your show? I was a tree in my kindergarten play. We already <laughs> have a tree. Yes, I see it. Oh. Please, can I join your show? Sorry, this is a one-man show. Sorry, I have to ask because hey, this is... what am I? Chopped liver? Yeah. No, not liver. Liver has a more appealing stage presence. I mean, I have to ask. This is one of those those games where you have to ask like 600 times until he says, Oh, all right. Of course, what I really want to do is direct. Why? I've always dreamed of my own production. Titus Andronicus on ice. Ooh, that's a gory. That's a gory. Uh, that's a very gory. Uh, very gory play. If you ever watched Cartman's uh, Scott Tennerman Must Die episode, it's actually pretty much the exact same thing. I think it was drawn from that. From that. Uh, from that episode. Please, can I join your show? Sorry, this is a one-man show. Acting is my life. Let me join your show. Sorry, this is a one-man show. One more, one more time. Well, let's see this. Why can't you go back to the original scripts? Oh, the sweet, sweet, bitter irony of it all. Now that you have confirmed that I have produced a work of unredeemable trash, I'm more or less guaranteed to have a financial success on my hands. <laughs> Why do I find that strangely encouraging? Can I watch you rehearse your horrible play? I'd rather you didn't. I get nervous when people watch. Well then, why are you an actor? Of course. Please, can I watch you rehearse? I'd rather you didn't. And stop whining! Come on, let me watch you rehearse. I'd rather you didn't. To be honest, to be, uh, you might see the surprise see, ending just to Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet die. Actually, that ending didn't set well with the focus groups. <laughs> but actually, I, I was about to say that he's sort of acting a little better than he is. Please, can I watch you rehearse? I'd rather you didn't. Then you'll hear all the answers to my knock-knock show. Okay, knock-knock. Oh. Please, can I join your show? Sorry, this is a one-man show. Okay, well... I'm going to assume that I'm not supposed to do this. One more time. Come on, let me watch you rehearse. I'd rather you didn't. Carry on. Next, I burn thieves, subdue its army. That is just disturbing. 
You kind of wore the same dress in the last game, so don't judge, hey, hey, Guybrush. How'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. But what I really want to do is act. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. How surprising. Yeah, isn't it? Break a peg leg. Thanks. What? Oh, well, that was nice. I don't fun. think he's interested. Okay. What? Well, Wait, I'm hold on. Never going to get what is this? For this performance. Prop tree. Fake trees of this genus were often used by early settlers for theatrical productions. Oh, yeah. Nah. Mm, no. I can't use a paper mache headstone. It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. I sure hope. I think I'll let him rest in peace. Slappy Cromwell. Act 4, scene 8. Join me, Rosencrantz. I am your father. <laughs> it's Juliet's balcony. Nah. Wherefore would I put it? And then I okay, well, I'm, I'm done with that. And I guess I'm done with this video, so I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's have some fun in the next one, and I'll see you then. Uh, later.